Hello. Are my Spice Girls visible? I, I think they are. Okay, I wore them because Ooh. you conveniently left out the Spice Girls third album forever well, from this bracket. Well, we usually only put like the best of the best of these kind of albums on the list. And so there was a top 16 and some albums didn't make the cut. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry too about that album. <laughs> <laughs> I know we all are forever. You're forever in our hearts. Jerry, why'd you have to go? I know, that's the real question. That third album could have been something. Maybe. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Two Gay Mats. It's Matt Steele. It's Matt Ballmer. And we have another bracket video for you guys today. It's true. These are very in depth, these are very intense. And this one is like very random. And then today, <laughs> today, we will be doing a bracket for our favorite third album yes. of our favorite artists. Absolutely, all ladies, because come on, do men make music? We'll never know. I don't know what a man is. <laughs> I don't know what a man is but either. Also, I think it's interesting we don't call these junior albums. Like we, we call second album sophomore we albums. Do. Why don't we call these junior albums? I don't know, I guess people think it's a little too cute. They think it's a little too, you know, high school collegiate moments. And well, I'm high school. You're not. And so I will be calling them junior albums. You graduated many moons ago, doll. And that's okay. It is okay. We love being adults. Aging is okay, Yes, guys. keep that in mind, Mariah. Yeah. That's for you too. Let Aging is cool. Listen. <laughs> We have longevity and not everybody has that. That's true. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this bracket. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna start top left. We're gonna start top left and, and in case you've never seen one of our bracket videos before, we only have one sheet, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. We both have to like, argue for the one that we won yes. because like we're not each gonna have our own bracket. Sometimes it ends in a fight, sometimes we have to compromise. Sometimes it ends with rock, paper, scissors. Sometimes so that's, it ends with a rock, paper, scissors. That's on the table. You so this is very scientific yes. as you can probably tell. And let's get going with two iconic ladies at the yes. top left here. We have Lady Gaga's third release, Born This Way. Features a lot of great songs, not including the title track, which I of course, Hate, but there are many lovely songs like The Edge of Glory, You and I. Uh, I don't hate Judas as much as you do. I do Judas to me is born this way to you. Perfect. Yes. But I feel like um, Bloody Mary, mm. Electric Chapel, mm. like there's a lot of great album tracks on this Fantastic record. Fantastic songs. Absolutely. Like Edge of Glory to me, I feel like it's Lady Gaga's like musically best song. 100%. Like, writing wise, production wise, energy wise, it is a classic. Mm, and um, Shiza, sorry, I'm just oh, thinking of I mean, songs well, now. we're just thinking of all the, the titles. Classic. Um, yeah, Born This Way was a moment. And what is it against? It's against Golden Hour. Golden Hour. Casey Musgraves won album of the year she at did. the Grammys. The two gay mats <laughs> have a <laughs> controversial opinion about Golden Hour. That it is very fine. That her previous two albums? Much better. We prefer. They're more for us. We, yes. Much better. <laughs> They're <laughs> just a little more. For, to me, to my ears, a little bit more specific lyrically, a little bit more stylistic and attitude. Like it seems more unique and mm -hmm. more like modernizing of the country, like the old school country that she's clearly inspired by. While well, Golden Hour is its own thing, a yes. very breezy, romantic. A very mellow. Very thing. mellow. There are great moments on Golden Hour. High though. Horse, we, we all love. We love High Horse. Butterfly. Butterfly, we stand mother so hard. Oh. And the fact that it's the shortest song on the album is devastating. Classic. I think uh, Rainbow is quite lovely. It is lovely. There are great moments on Golden Hour. Absolutely. Born This Born Way is way. the answer. Thank okay, let me just type to, that in. Let's write that in, pat Which, that in. So the next duo is two albums that I think came out around the same time, because Music Box was 93. What was Tragic Kingdom? We don't acknowledge Demon? time when oh, it comes right. to talking about a Mariah you album. You just said we were fine with aging, but now we don't acknowledge time. Which side are you on? But we have Mariah Carey's Music Box, her third release, which by the way, are we counting her Christmas album as we go through these? Part of me says no. I say no. Okay, I, and the thing is we love Christmas, and obviously her Christmas album is very important, but that's for a different video. Music Box by Mariah Carey features two giant number one singles entitled Dream Lover and Hero. Hero was her signature song at the time. Throughout the 90s, I'd say it's very much that. Uh, anytime you need a friend, uh, now that I know, mm -hmm. I've been thinking about you, all I ever wanted. Mm. A classic vocal performance, a showpiece. Matt Steele's not a fan of this album. Listen, I can appreciate the vocals. Unbelievable. On this album. The vocals on this album are amazing. Obviously, it's like it's her best selling album, right? Yes. It is a huge worldwide phenomenon hit. What is it against? It's against Tragic Kingdom by No Doubt. Now, this is an album. Yes that has, is chock full of personality. And it has a lot of great singles. Yes. Uh, it's, it's hard because Music Box, I think might technically be better. However, my problem with Music Box, in terms of Mariah Carey's career, is that it feels a little 
It feels the least like her. It I'm feels staring. the least like her. It feels like it's a little stripped of personality. Sure. It's a little whitewashed. But I will say, I'm, as a person who grew up with the singles from Tragic Kingdom, I listened to the full album today in preparation for this video, and I think those album tracks are capital A, capital T, Album tracks, I think there are two good ones in the bunch. Like, I w the stretches between the singles were devastatingly not in interesting to me. So for me, it's a clear answer. I'm gonna give this to you. Thank you very at much. at some point, I know I'm gonna be fighting for something that I want, <laughs> so I'm gonna give you this. Look, and I clearly recognize that, like, Spider webs, don't speak. Fucking excuse me, Mister Sunday morning. These are classic single choices. Yeah. But ooh, Sunday morning. I was listening oh, to that today. Ooh, classic. classic. Like truly brilliant yeah. songs. But I feel like the lows are way lower. Okay, fair. I'll give it to me. you. I'll give it to you. Next up, we have uh, a, a Matt Steele loved album very much. Mm. True Blue, an album you grew up with. Yes, by yeah, Madonna. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, because you. I feel like you knew Jimmy Jimmy before I did. Sure. You know, and yeah. then that is up against Dangerous Woman by Ariana Grande. I would say one of my favorite Ariana releases, I'd say number two under Thank You Next. True Blue, I also listened to for the first time this uh, this week, and I think it is much stronger than Tragic Kingdom. But I do think nearing the end, we get a little bit of like, but the quality gets a little bit lower. Madonna's first two albums, I'm very much just like, eh, like the singles are great, but like the album tracks I'm not super into. Right. True Blue, to me, is like the first Madonna album that she did where I was just like, oh, I feel like this album is really great all the way through. Obviously the singles. And the way it real, starts. It, like, I mean, Papa don't preach, Papa open, don't your preach open your heart, express I, yourself. I do love La Isla Bonita, which you don't like, but it's I okay. <laughs> So, I like I love White Hot. Is that oh, what that song yes. is called? That song is excellent. Yes. I would say True Blue has more, so many more memorable moments than Dangerous Woman has specifically. Okay. Yes. I think Dangerous Woman suffers from being too long. I think the highs are high, but you do get a little bit of middlingness because of the length of the album. And, uh, and, and I mean, the song, the classics on True Blue are such beyond. They classics. are. They're like a great American songbook at this point. I understand that, but like. Into You is up there in it's the great. conversation with it's Ariana's great. best songs. You know Into what I'm saying? Into like, You is great. It's great. Yes. But I, I I will give you True Blue. Thank you. And that is that on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, we have like a mid-aughts rivalry up here. Not real rivalry, but let's just, they're head to head right now at this very moment. Rihanna's Good Girl Gone Bad. Her first appearance in one of these brackets because her first albums are what? Bad. <laughs> but Good Girl Gone Bad was a breakout success Ooh. and a classic, classic piece of music. The yeah. singles, I mean, Umbrella. Mm. Obviously, Don't Stop the Music. If you're going to the deluxe edition, the re-release, we have Take a Bow, we have Disturbia. Mm. Like, this is an album I'm that- I'm gonna breaking some dishes. I love breaking <laughs> dishes. I love Sell Me Candy. Yes. I, oh. just don't, I love the title track. Neil wrote the shit out of that. Mm -hmm. And then we have Nelly Furtado's Loose, which is one of the great Timbaland produced albums of all time. Like mm. if we're talking about Timbaland albums outside of the ones he produced for like the one in a million from Aaliyah, I feel like it's between this and Future Sex Love Sounds of like the greatest things he's done as a producer. I think Man Eater, obviously Promiscuous, Say It Right. And this is an album that is similarly linked if you go to the deluxe edition as Dangerous Woman, but it never feels long. Like it always- No, it doesn't. Every song is like, yes, I'm so happy to hear this. No, I igual. Love. <laughs> oh, a fan. Fantastic, that, that right? That song is like top on the album Absolutely. in my opinion because I listened to the album for the first time yes. specifically for this video. I had never heard this album before. Good for you, doing and, your research. And it is excellent. Like Truly. it is so sonically cohesive. Yes. You can tell that like Timbaland is just like all over it and like she has such like a personality yes. and, and, and so many classics. Like at the time I was, I was back in high school. Oh. <laughs> like I was back <laughs> senior year of high school. Like right. I had a great time listening to this. I will say Good Girl Gone Bad is overall my favorite Rihanna album. I think- Oh, interesting. The, I don't know that I knew that. I think, I think I've okay. told you that before. Maybe I guess you right. just didn't remember because you don't care. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> just the memory of just like her breaking through it, just like, no, this is my attitude. I am so yes. cool and sexy and bad. Yes. And, and I just, I, I will just always remember that image of that cover. Yes. So there's so much nostalgia with Good Girl Gone Bad for me. I, yes. I will say maybe Loose is more cohesive. I think I'm saying Not maybe, but <laughs> <laughs> it I think, is more cohesive. I think it's hard to fight the like cultural impact of an umbrella. Yes. But I think from track to track, song for song, Lo Loose is the stronger release. All right. All right. All right, we're doing it. Woo! We're I doing can't it. believe we're saying goodbye. That album is great. Go, good Girl Gone Bad. Okay, top right. Yeah. We have Taylor Swift Speak Now. 
versus Brandy's full moon. This is difficult. This is very <laughs> difficult. This is, this is a these challenge. These are two of my favorites from these two artists. I'd say top two of my favorites from Brandy and from Taylor Swift. Speak Now is an album that for a while I would have called my favorite Taylor Swift album. It feels the most personal. Obviously, mm. she wrote every song. We obviously have the stretch of three that I can never get over of the title track, Into Dear John, Into Mean. Full Moon, I feel like the production and the, like, she is playing so beautifully with her musical soulmate in Dark Child, Rodney Jerkins. They work so beautifully together and this is like them at the peak of their powers. They're pushing the envelope production wise. I know you were upset. You felt like you couldn't hear any of the lyrics, but I can hear every <laughs> I word. I hear nothing. <laughs> I hear every hear word nothing. on this album. So. It's hard. I, it's it's hard because like, Speak Now by Taylor Swift, to me, I always tell people, I'm just like, this is Taylor Swift in a nutshell, yes. this album. Yes. And Full Moon, you know Brandy a lot more than I do. You would describe Full Moon as like, this is Brandy in a nutshell. Yes, yes. Whereas I, I do prefer Aphrodisiac you do. By, by Brandy, but that's you okay. Do. So like, these are kind of like the albums that sort of epitomize each of these artists. Right. So that is very, very hard. I am much, much, much more familiar with Speak Now. Right. And the highs on Speak Now are just so utterly phenomenal. Yes. Just those shame jams that are 20 minutes long right. are just so great. There are a couple lows on Speak Now. Yes. Um, Never grow up. Do the, <laughs> are there any lows on Full Moon that are Not, equal to the lows on no. Speak Now? No, there's no Never Grow Up level low on Full Moon in my personal opinion. I personally am gonna put my hat in the ring for Full Moon, but if you feel strongly about Speak Now, I can, I can let you have it. How do you feel? Should we rock, paper, scissors? Let's rock, paper, scissors. Right. I'm a full moon girl. All right, ready? All right. Are we shoot, do you shoot or do you just Of rock course paper? I shoot. I don't You ask shoot. this every time we Because I never want to do it. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'll do the shoot. Okay. okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Full okay. moon it is. Full moon it is. Congratulations, Brandy. I'm for you, babe. Congratulations, Brandy. Yes, we love you, girl. Love aphrodisiac. Absolutely. Next up, we have Fan Mail yes. versus Janet. These are two great 90s releases. This is TLC's post Crazy Sexy Cool record, which features No Scrubs, their biggest hit. Unpretty, great single Dear Lie is excellent. There's a lot of great stuff on here. I feel like it's a lot of chilly forward vocally. It's less mm -hmm. T-Boss forward as it had been previously. And then of course, Janet has That's The Way Love Goes. Mm. It has If, it has You oh, Want yeah. This. It has Anytime, <laughs> Any Place. Like really, really high highs on Janet. Mm. Um, I think If is my favorite Janet Jackson oh, song. It's a great song. In that music video. Perfect. I mean, it's crazy. the song you would always sing to yourself when you were in the outfield playing Little League. That is absolutely true. <laughs> when I was a young child in the right field praying the ball never came to me, I'd be, if I was your girl, the things I'd do to hey. you. <laughs> I just want to say something. Okay. We all know I love TLC. Yes. Crazy Sexy Cool was a staple album yes. in my household yes. growing up as a child. As it should in be. In New Jersey. Yes. I had never heard fan mail okay. all the way through. So from first listen. And so I listened to fan mail for the first time uh, uh, yesterday. I'm nervous, there's so much preamble. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> it's one of the best. Yes! <laughs> Thank like, God, yes! Like, you hear, you see why I'm always squealing about fan mail? Yes, okay, but motherfucker, the crazy sexy fool album cover This is isn't about here. that! <laughs> Holy I know. fucking shit. I know. That when the second it started, that title track, I was like, oh, Unbelievable. the entire time, I the entire time, I, there, there is only one low point. Ah, which which is, one? I miss you so I miss much. you so I much, miss, I like it's, it. It's, it's a little syrupy. It's not, it's not offensive. It yes, is a little syrupy. A little syrupy. And I will say, dear lie, horrendous lyric. <laughs> Iconic melody. Iconic, <laughs> Iconic melody. melody. And those are the only criticisms I have for the album wow. because it is so brilliant. Silly ho. Oh, the album is so cohesive. It has such an attitude. Every song, except the one I mentioned, <laughs> it, like is a bop. Yes. Love sick. Love automatic. Uh, like great, great, great stuff. all the way around. So sorry, Janet. Oh! We love you. Dearly. I'm blown away at how much you love fan mail. Oh my god. Because I always feel like I'm on my own island being like, I know Crazy Sex is cool, I know, I know, I know, but fan mail, guys. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Mm, mm, mm. I'm happy. And the thing is, I love Janet, this title, the, the self-titled album. I think of her four in a row, this is her weakest. I just think there are some uh, the four like control through Velvet Rope. Velvet Rope, yes, yes. excuse me. Uh, it's the, I just feel like the, there aren't even lows, but they're more like 
this song is fine, mm -hmm. then there usually is on a Janet Jackson record. And it's record. quite long. It is long. I mean, fan, mail, are, fan mail breezes by. I mean, it's six, fan mail's 16 tracks. <laughs> Next up, I, okay, I'm sorry, I'm still blown away in your love for You're fan welcome. mail. I'm so happy. Welcome to the club. Thank you. Uh, we have Adele's 25 versus Person of the Week, Britney Spears' uh, Britney. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Like, Britney to me, it's not my favorite Britney Spears album by a mile, right. like I would say. Obviously, there's Blackout, obviously, there's In the Zone, obviously, there's Glory. Yes. But, like, to me, this album is her most underrated album. Mm. Like, I've always enjoyed this album. Yeah. I think it's got some really, really fantastic highs on there. Yeah. What would you say is, like, a huge low on Britney? I think the original Boys is pretty bad. Boys isn't <laughs> great. But, like, I wouldn't say there's anything, like, offensive on Britney. I don't think offensive. I think the issue I'm having, I have always had with Britney, is, like, like, why are we three albums in, you're the biggest superstar on the planet, and we're having to remix your songs to make them ready to be singles? Like, that's some album on Chris Aguilera shit. Like, we should not have had to remix over Protected and Boys for them to be, to sound current. Like, okay. as current as I'm a Slave for You was, I feel mm. like the album felt less current. Like, that was the such an immediate moment, that song. Mm -hmm. And if the album even had more of that, or even went back to the oops sound, like when she goes into like Cinderella and bombastic love and stuff, mm -hmm. it feels like, okay, at least this is Britney doing Britney. But I feel like there's this weird middling place in a lot of that album okay. that I don't dislike. Fair, but, yeah. But in fairness, I can't disagree with you. She's, yeah. you know, she's coming off of a blockbuster second album. Adele was coming off of a blockbuster second album. Mm -hmm. And both of these albums are good in their own ways, yeah. but a bit of a step down, in my opinion, from the previous release. Okay, I mean, 25 is great. Like, is there great. are such fantastic moments on 25, like yes. when we were young. Oh. Like, it's just excellent. You know, I'm a big fan of a million years ago, obviously. Oh. Oh. Love in the Dark? Oh, Love in the Dark, yes. All I Ask, oh, classic. Good job, Bruno Mars. Yes, so like 25 is great. I would say 25 is stronger than Britney. Yes, yeah. agreed. Uh, this one won't be close. This is um, Sasha Fierce, yes. Beyonce album, 2008. Single I am ladies. a Sasha Fierce, give it the full uh, time. Excuse me, you I can't am, forget that I am half. I, I would like to. <laughs> <laughs> I am Sasha Fierce, Britney Spears, uh, Beyonce, and um, Aaliyah self-titled. Aaliyah self-titled, like <laughs> I mean. <laughs> If you have not heard this album, I suggest when you are done watching this video, liking and subscribing. Yes. Immediately, immediately run to your Spotify. Even if you have to give Aaliyah's weird uncle some money, listen to the Red Album. It is her self-titled release. We cannot overstate this. It is a brilliant breakthrough piece of art that everyone should hear. Because I know people know Rock the Boat. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would like to think people know We Need a Resolution. <gasps> but people don't know the album. Uh, like they should, in every my opinion. Song every is song. It is just a jam that is forward thinking, pushing the envelope, has such a specific, unique sound that I don't think anyone has like replicated. Never, never. Since. How could they? It's, it's. I know. This 2K Mats video is brought to you by our Patreon. It really fucking is. Ourselves, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we are sponsoring ourselves. Make sure to go to patreon.com slash 2K Mats to visit our newly revamped Patreon. For $5 a month, you will receive extra bonus content and we'll have at least two of those up a month. We're yes. going through all of your patron requests, reacting, reviewing to your favorite thing. Yes, and you also, for $5 a month, get access to the Discord. Which is like talking to your best friends on a group chat that you just haven't met yet. So become a part of it. It's so much fun. You discuss art, guys. It's a lot of gays and gals with a lot of feelings. Yes. For $10 a month, you get special bonus podcasts that we are calling the Chatty Cathy. Yes, thank you, Michael Smith, for that name. The Chatty Cathy podcast are just us hanging out with our friends, talking with to them for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and we're going to do one of those a month at the very least. For $15 a month, every month, you can request one video or song or scene for us to react to. And for $25 a month, you can request a long-form review or reaction of a movie, a an album, not an opera, <laughs> but a lot of stuff's on the table. We're gonna make this worth your while, darling. I promise, like Mariah said on Say Something, if it's worth your while, and this is. <laughs> this is. This is. Thank you so much. And now we're back to the regular schedule video. Okay. <laughs> uh, now we're back to top left. We're okay. at Born This Way versus Music Box. All right. <sighs> hold on. Oh, hold, all right, we're holding. It's all. It's hard because you're also measuring their what the album is versus their entire discography and where it would land, you know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. But I, yes. I I can concede and say that Born This Way is a Lady Gaga peak, while Music Box is obviously a sales peak for Mariah and a vocal peak. I would not say it's a creative peak for her. Okay. All right? All right, well, that's that. Did you agree? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, we're now True Blue versus Loose. 
Stop all right, it. lose. Okay. Yes, lose. All right, lose. Yes, all right. lose. I'll give you. Thank lose. you. I'll give you lose. Give me because, lose, like, baby. even though like True Blue is one of my favorite Madonna albums, yes. and those those highs are pure classics. Absolutely. As an the album as a whole, like it's it's not Ray of Light. No, <laughs> which it's is not. Confessions on the When we get floor. to like people's like what ninth album? I know or exactly. The Let's just think Ryan and Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we have Full Moon versus Fan Mail. I think I love Full Moon, but I mean, just hearing you, it's gonna baby, be Fan baby, Mail, baby. Give my girls their due. I mean, and I love Full Moon, but I realize that Matt Steele's further away from me in that <laughs> Full Fan Mail deserves yeah, everything. Yeah. Twenty five versus Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Well, Aaliyah. <laughs> Adele, we love. We ya. love you, Adele. We love you, babe. We love you, babes. Ooh, this is moving fast. I know. All right, so we got Born This Way versus, versus Loose. Loose. All right, are you ready? They're both pretty equal to me. Okay. Um. Okay. All right. Yeah. Three, two, one, loose. loose. Yeah. Wow. I'm not like hardcore strong about this choice. I think loose is more consistent. I sure. think yes. Born This Way has such high highs. Yeah. Uh, but I think the consistent, but so does loose. I think what, what pushed loose over the edge for me was the consistency. The consistency. Through. Yeah. This this is hard. This is hard. This is difficult. I know my answer. I think I know my answer, um, but it's not easy. But it's this is a, this is a challenge. This is a challenge. Yeah. And I'm ready to say it. I'm ready to Are say you ready? it. Too. Yeah. Three, two, one. Aaliyah. <laughs> I mean. I mean. The red album is. The red album is like just so it's special. It's really hard to beat, it's guys. So special. All, All right. To our final two. I would never have I, suspected. I would never have suspected these either. I had an idea one of them was going to be here, but I did not know about the other. Sure. All right. Are we ready? All right. So, Loose. Loose. Nelly Versus Furtado. Congratulations, Nelly. Congratulations, congratulations Leah. Yes. Final round. Both Timbaland uh, acts, even though I don't think Timbaland's all over the Red Album like he is on One in a Million, but both albums that Timbaland, you know, had a big hand in producing yeah. and especially like big relationships with the artists. So Timbaland, what a time. I, congratulations. The thing with Timbaland is like, you know exactly. I know. Like th that it's him the yes. second the song starts. I know. Okay, Loose, Loose versus, versus Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Ah! I mean. Aaliyah, Aaliyah is the best third, third junior, third, <laughs> third album. album. Of our pop divas. Of our pop divas. This was a creative oh, zenith for her. I'm so thrilled that this one. I am too, because remember our sophomore <laughs> bracket was a mess. That no was one violent. was happy. It was, violent, it was guys. really violent. That was violent. And this wasn't that. This wasn't that. This we both felt strongly, and I'm so proud of you with fan mail. Like I cannot say it more. Thank but like, you. I'm proud of me too. Because I feel like I'm I'm alone in my love, and I'm like maybe it's my being nostalgic, but like. The title track, Fantastic. Silly Ho, Fantastic. Fucking No Scrubs, uh, Good at Being Bad, whatever. I'm just listing the songs. Yeah. Aaliyah is excellent. Aaliyah is excellent. We talk about it all the time and we cannot overstate how great the Red Album is. So you have not listened to it recently. Go to your Spotify, go to your Apple Music, listen to Aaliyah self-titled, you will not be disappointed. And for the longest time, it was not on Spotify and it is on Spotify it is. now, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy it. Enjoy, Enjoy it. it. And may you rest in peace, Aaliyah. Thank Honestly, you for everything you've given you've us. You've given us so much incredible music that will have been the soundtrack to our lives while you were here and since you've been gone. We love you, we love you, we love you. And we love all of you for watching. Make sure to follow us both on Twitter and Instagram at Matt Palmer Music. And I, it's Matt Steele. And at Two Gay Matts for both of us. Uh, you also can listen to our podcast. It comes out every single Monday. It's called Two Gay Matts, T-W-O. Find it wherever you get your podcasts. And if you love to watch people live on YouTube, we record the podcast live every Sunday night at 6.30 p.m. Pacific. Join us there. We have a Patreon. If you really love us and want to see extra bonus content from us, go to patreon.com slash two Game mats two spelled T-W-O. We have so much fun there. People can request videos of their own. You can join the Discord, hang out with friends you haven't met yet. And Matt Steele, yes. who do we need to give shout outs to? We need to give a shout out to some of our legendary patrons. Yes. Their names are Jen, Jacob, Montana, Matthew, Jesse, Dallas, Eric, Ruben, Sarah, Jordan, Sam, Amy, and Dr. Woods. Dr. Woods and all of you, thank you so much for watching. We love you so much and we'll be back soon with more 2K Mats. Bye. Bye.